Welcome to the Sunday Mass with Bishop David Ricken from St. Francis Xavier Cathedral in Green Bay. We are the church sent forth to bring hope, healing, mercy, and love to all God's people. Individuals and families continue to return to church every Sunday, yet there are those who for various reasons cannot be present in our parishes at this time. We are here for you. We invite you to pray with us from wherever you are. Good morning and welcome to the TV Sunday Mass. Today is the second Sunday of Easter, also called Divine Mercy Sunday. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you rose from the grave and conquered death forever. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you live forever in glory. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast Kindle the faith of the people you have made your own. Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, and by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who own property or houses would sell them. Bring the proceeds of the sale and put them at the feet of the apostles. And they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let those 
those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and He has been my Savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world, but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and the Spirit is truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord be with you and with your spirit <clears throat> a reading from the Holy Gospel according to John glory to you O Lord on the evening of that first day of the week when the doors were locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them peace be with you when he had said this he showed them his hands and his side the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord Jesus said to them again Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed upon them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain, they are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We've seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, his disciples were again inside and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. 
Jesus said to him, have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My brothers and sisters, this is Divine Mercy Sunday. And this is a special Sunday celebrated throughout the world now because of the revelations that were given to a little Polish nun by the name of Faustina Kowalska in the late 1930s, in between the First World War and the Second. Those revelations, that particular particular manifestation of Jesus Christ personally to her have helped to guide the world through very difficult times and to focus on the mercy of Jesus. You know, God is so filled with merciful love. He's constantly pouring out merciful love and he wants us to accept his merciful love. He's constantly and is always all about love and that is what is so merciful about him. His mercy has a quality that as soon as you repent of your sins and turn to him, it gets received immediately. It's not that he's not always there offering it. It's that sometimes we can't receive it because we have a sin that's blocking us or self-condemnation, whatever the obstacle is. Sometimes we get into that and we miss the opportunities to receive his mercy. In the second reading, we heard about blood and water flowing out of the side of Christ. And that's what this merciful apparition of Jesus to Faustina was all about. He appeared to her with two streams coming out of him, out of his heart. That was one that was water, which symbolizes the baptism and also the Holy Spirit. The other was his blood, because he sacrificed everything for the sake of all human beings throughout the world. And so as we look at this image, which I have on my vestment here, my brother gave me this, just shortly left it in his will to give it to me. He went through a very quick death, but he had his will prepared and made sure that I received the copy of this vestment with this image on it because he was very devoted to the Divine Mercy Chaplet for the last five years of his life. Completely transformed him from the inside out. My brother's name was Mark he died in 41414, 14, April 4th, April 14th, 2014. This is his 10th anniversary. So I saw what Divine Mercy Devotion did for my brother Mark, and it was incredible. He was always a good man, went to church and everything, but he started to begin to perceive, and he read the Diary of St. Faustina many times. He started a ministry in his parish. He started to devote his life to telling people about the mercy of Jesus. The mercy of Jesus is the work of the risen Christ who sends the Holy Spirit, who wants you and me, brothers and sisters, to know him more deeply, to fall in love with him even more as we accept his merciful love more deeply into our lives. And then as missionary disciples, we take that good news out to others about the loving, merciful Lord who wants us to be his and him to be ours. What a gift. May Almighty God bless each and every one of you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together now we will pray the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son and our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. The universal prayers... Trusting in the Lord's goodness, let us bring before him our prayers for the church, the world, and ourselves. <clears throat> Father,
for the church. May we continue to grow in charity and faith as she remains a sign of God's merciful love for all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who gather for Mass, may the Holy Spirit give us wisdom and insight to help us recognize the length and breadth of God's love and mercy. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an end to violence, may Christ's victory over death turn hearts from violence and revenge and help us to respect the value and dignity of each human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis's April intention, for the role of women, let us pray that the dignity and worth of women be recognized in every culture and for an end to the discrimination they face in various parts of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died with the hope of the resurrection, may they be welcomed into the kingdom of heaven and see the face of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of mercy, in your love and care for us, you sent your son not to condemn the world, but to save it. Please hear the prayers we bring to you today, and in your divine mercy and love, answer them according to your most holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and of those you have brought to new birth, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to loud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with me, your unworthy servant, and with all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be covers to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of this Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. <clears throat> Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And now, my brothers and sisters, from this altar, from our hearts, from the Holy Eucharist, let us extend peace to a very troubled world. i 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join in reciting the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless each and every one of you and your families and your parishes the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. We now pray the St. Michael prayer. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Thanks for praying with us today. A special thanks goes to the Bergstrom Automotive family and to the Bishop's Appeal for supporting this broadcast. May God bless you. Remember, God loves you, the church loves you, and so do I.